so in between episodes I've done some more netherite mining, got some more netherite stuff, so we need to or I need to do, um, netherite tools. Mic on. feedback on. Um, also did quite a bit more enchanting, so we have many efficiency five picker. Now. I did a lot of mining, so for diamonds and stuff, I have a load of coal and redstone, and I believe we now have enough gold and iron to make a mountain base, so that's something that I kind of want to do fairly soon. Um, also, um, we did have more iron than that, because, um, I wondered why this was, this stopped working in between episodes, um, because the shears broke, so, um, I have filled all of them up with shears. Also, I don't think like the killing mechanism works. So instead, I'm just gonna kill them with my sword because it's got fire aspect on it. And I al I've also put mending on my sword, added looting to it. Um, it's only looting two though, so I want to get looting three at some point. Also, I did infinity to my bow. Um, this pickaxe is almost broken. I actually ended up by accidentally breaking a diamond one that was just like that, but diamond. Um, which is a little bit sad. Um, yeah. I also got fortune. I think I got... Wait, did I combine that or not? I don't remember whether I actually got... Yeah, I've got a Fortune 3... I'm sure I had... Oh, no, I, I meant to put efficiency on... Um, I had an efficiency book. I meant to put it on this hoe, but I forgot. So, yeah, we've got a Fortune hoe. And then, ideally, on this one, I want to get Silk Touch. And I also kind of want to get Silk Touch on this axe. But yeah, so we're nearing completely got I also got feather falling for, so w apart from the lack of thorns three and mending on this, this is god armor, I think. And I put thorns two on the chest plate. And yeah. Right, so this episode, um, what I want to do is um I want to get rid of this sugar cane and I want to build an automated sugar cane it doesn't have to be massive because we don't have huge demands for um sugar cane really but um if it's just constantly ticking over making some sugar cane then that's good I don't think um, the like super fast design that like made use of um, moving the block underneath the sugar cane back and forward. I don't think that works anymore in um, 1.16. I think they 
remove that. So I'm just going to make a standard sugar cane farm. So, wait, let me show you what it's going to be. I need a piston, I need redstone, and I need observers. And that's about it. So, it's going to be one bucket of water here. Sugar cane growing there, um, then we want rock up like that, then that, and then on the top. And just a piece of redstone, and then you um, the last thing you do is you just um, obviously you just encase it like this on all sides, yeah, um, and it grows, it pushes, it down, and then underneath. This block, so down on this level, we can just have a minecart track running underneath. So, yeah, and obviously, if you want to put it next to each other, then you just remove the wall and build another one here. Yeah, and you'd have a block here as well, so that it's all encased and it can only drop onto that block. So, yeah, it's a fairly simple. So. I want to do that. I also want to do some more netherite mining and hopefully <coughs> hopefully um hopefully I want to um make this fortune one and these three silk touch ones at least at least those um Oh, I forgot to combine that. Yeah. There we go. I also want to make this um, shovel. I want to make that um, netherite as well. And then maybe if I get efficiency on the Diamond hoe, I might also make that um, netherite. I still want to get silk touch on an axe. I don't think fortune really has a use on axes, if I can remember. Because it used to be that, like, if you wanted to break leaves, um, there wasn't really a tool, but most people um, would use a fortune axe. But now you just use a fortune hoe to do that. So, um, yeah. I don't think we really need a... I think we just want to get um, silk touch on it. That big ox I also want to add efficiency to. I also want to get looting three on that sword. <coughs> so yeah, I'm probably going to do quite a bit of netherite mining. Which I think we have. <coughs> uh, we also have quite a lot of books. Oh, we did have quite a lot of books. So we combined them all down into things. Um, I think we're out, or we just have one, um, one potion left. This, this has happened twice now. So, um, when, um, a creeper blew up outside my house and I had the brewing stand here along the front, um, 
and it happened a it's happened twice now. The first time, um, it blew up the brewing stands, and I only got one back. I and I just replaced them, and then it happened again. So we've lost four blaze rods, and I still need to replace the two brewing stands that broke. So that's a little bit annoying. Um, did I have something sticking up in here? No. Right, okay. So I'm going to um should probably go to bed, you know. Um I'm gonna go um sort out the sugarcane farm and build it all and then hopefully and I'll use the same shulker box unloading system as I did for the wool farm. So yeah. Actually, where should I build it? This has kind of become like a farming area. So, I might... Quite na is long and narrow, so I think I might build it directly behind the wool farm. And I think like this area is a nice place to do it because I might move the egg farm at some point as well. I'll probably just kill all the chickens, eat them, or eat the food, and then I'll move it around here. Because, um, from the front of my house, from here, none of it's in view, um, so I don't have to look at it too much, only if I'm actually going to collect stuff. And then if we build it all in the same place as well, eventually, um, we can... We can build an automated storage system for it all. Or at least we can find storage. Which I'll, I'll probably just make an, one where it funnels all the items rather than funneling it into one line and then sorting it at the other end. But yeah, at some point we will definitely do that. Yeah, so I probably. Anything else? I can take a spare. No, I shouldn't need... Oh, yeah, I'll take a bit of extra redstone. Yeah, right, okay. So I'll do that then. And then I'll get back to you. Right, okay, so I've finished building it. There's not too much to see. Yeah. I forgot that. Torches to stop the moss from spawning. I'm just going to leave it open. I don't think it's really going to be a problem to have it closed, and if it is a problem then I can change that. I'm not going to make um, loads of them because I don't think we need it. I think I only need enough potions so that like, if the bed explodes and I find lava and then the or my blood and lava or something, I need to have one of my hot bar to um, 
in case I need it. I've just had to put one of these out of m their miseries already. Uh, really? Another one? Oh. <coughs> So I think next episode I'll probably want to start trying to get some villagers here. Um, because... In fact, I may actually... I may actually go and get the... Some villagers... Yeah, I am actually going to brew up, um, <laughs> gotta make some more blaze powder as well, and this is the problem, um, even if the, um, I don't lose the brewing stands, I still lose, I, no, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use one, because that means less blaze powder wasted. <laughs> If it doesn't get wasted. And it does mean it take longer though. Because if I break them, then I am bottles. all of these with water. Right, now we need to get some nether ore. Mm, where 
this never is never bought in this chest. Yeah, so and some redstone. Okay, so I got back from netherite mining, and I may, I, um, fix the netherite helmet with a spare, with an extra netherite helmet that I made. I uh, also made of, made these two netherite, um, and also made that netherite. Um, we also have more quartz than we're going to need for quite a long time. Now have a stack of gold blocks and a little bit of spare. Um, so what? I also put some campfires under there. Um, I don't think they actually have any bees in. And the reason that I have the map is because next uh, next episode I want to start working with villagers. And I believe. In like the desert area at the top of middle top of the map, um, there should, I believe, there was a village there. So I want to go and have a look at that. So I'll get back to you when I've arrived. I oh, actually, I want to put these bees. In. Hopefully there'll be some bees and stuff. Yes, it has bees in it. Because that achievement means that it has bees in it. So that's good. Um yeah, so I'll once I get there, um I'll probably actually fill in the middle of the map today as well. Um but yeah, once I get there I'll I'll get back to you. Right, okay, so I'm not sure actually how um, I'm not sure if you can see, but over there in the distance, that's the village. So I'm going to hopefully um, get some villagers from there back to... I think it shouldn't be too hard, because if we can get them in a boat down to here, then... Yeah, we just need to get them to about here, and then we can boat them round on the rivers. And then the last bit, I might run a minecart track. Yep, so we have quite a few villagers here. Hopefully there's more than three. I'm not sure whether I... I may have, when I was exploring before, decided to not loot it and leave it exactly as it was. I can't really remember. I, by the look of it, I did... Right, I want the bell. Um, right, so I believe, um, where's the bed? If I can get all the beds in the village, then I believe... We should be able to make... seem to be green for some reason in this village. Um, uh, the loot is not very good from the village anyway. Um, I need to make sure I get all the beds and then I should be able to put 
if I put all of the beds down in an area that the villagers can get in but they can't then get out of that should be oh no there's not a bed in here is Right, okay, I think that's the whole village now. Right. So, I want to dig out an area of sand. going to be best, um, and then we can put all the beds in it, hopefully. Okay, we just need to put a block of sand there. sleep just so that there's no zombies or husks to terrorize the villagers right. and then I think once we've done this we'll we might we leave it for this episode Although I may in between episodes, um, right, if I place one of every colour bed here, we only have one sign bed anyway, um, right, there we go. They should all run over and jump in the pit. It's perfect. Right, so we've got four villagers and one nitwit. Let's see if there's any more villagers who are over here somewhere. they're ignoring here. We have enough villagers though. Which is good. Um so yeah. Alright. That's it for this episode 
at the moment, I may, in between episodes, though, um, just actually get them back nearer to my house, because I don't really want to be having to travel about 1,000 blocks every time I want to do some villager trading, or at least not, un not until I have elytra. I also actually killed an enderman on the way here. And we've also got that bee's nest. Yeah. So, um... Uh, next episode I want to do some work with villagers. Hopefully we can get a mending trade. Because my armour... Oh. Suffering a fair bit. May actually stop using that chest plate. And those netherite boots soon as well. Because I, the last thing I want to happen is for them to break. So yeah. yeah. So thanks for watching this episode, and goodbye.